The door plug that blew out of an Alaska Airlines flight over Portland, Oregon, on Friday has been found in a schoolteacher's backyard. Amid investigations into the explosive depressurization accident that triggered an emergency landing and resulted in extensive damage to the inside of the Boeing 737-9 MAX airplane. Alaska Airlines recorded that the plane's auto pressurization fail light, which is designed to signal failures in controlling cabin pressure, had illuminated on three flights in the weeks before Friday's incident. Those reports, on December 7, January 3 and January 4, prompted tests and a reset from maintenance, Jennifer Homendy, chair of the National Transportation Safety Board, NTSB, said in a news conference Sunday evening. She added that the airline restricted the plane from flying to Hawaii in case it would need swift landing, and that a later request from Alaska Airlines for a deeper look had gone unfulfilled before the incident Friday. It's certainly a concern, and it's one that we want to dig into, Homendy said. She added that it is unclear whether the light is linked to the accident and said that it's possible the light could have malfunctioned independently of the plane's auto pressurization system. Flight 1282 was on its way to Ontario, Calif. From Portland before it was forced to return to the airport after the door plug. An exit that is panelled off, usually because it is deemed optional in safety regulations, separated from the plane mid-air, shortly after takeoff. The blowout caused a loud banging sound and frigid, whipping winds to pour into the aircraft. The cockpit door immediately flew open, banging into a lavatory door and jolting the first officer forward, causing her to temporarily lose her headset, Homendy said, citing interviews with flight attendants. The captain and the first officer were able to put on oxygen masks and turn on a speaker, but, communication was a serious issue, she said. Flight attendants described trouble getting information from the flight deck, and passengers in the cabin struggled to hear announcements. It was very violent, Homendy said. Investigators who examined the grounded plane after the accident found that the headrests of two seats directly adjacent to the door plug were missing, as well as the back of one seat. One flight attendant suffered minor injuries, according to the union that represents Alaska crews, the Washington Post reported. Several passengers required medical attention for injuries, the airline said. The flight was carrying 171 passengers and six crew members. Pieces of trim, paneling and insulation were ripped from the interior of the plane, Homendy said, and damage was visible in at least 12 rows, including the interior side of some windows. However, these parts are not critical to the structure of the aircraft, she said, adding that the tubing of several oxygen masks had been sheared off.